As an ice hockey professional, you may often find it necessary to draw sketches over real game footage to better communicate your ideas. This is where in stat drawing feature may be useful. While the static drawing has been around for a while, the dynamic drawing was launched not so long ago. Both features allow you to draw freehand sketches over a moving and static video image and have been recently updated. Let's see how it works. To enter the drawing mode click on add picture on a video player page. On the left hand side there are two panels of drawing tools, dynamic and static. Let's overview some of the tools you can make good use of. Add arrows to illustrate a regular pass or a saucer. Highlight tool to spotlight a player. Highlight multiple players to spotlight a defensive shape for example. Highlight zone to point out an area. And many more. Every element has a unique set of customizable parameters on the right hand side where you can set style, size, color, transparency, shade and many more. To delete a static drawing simply click on the red bin here. As you add drawings you'll see them appear as separate tracks in the lower panel. You can easily change the duration of each static drawing, simply drag the track by its borders. Similarly, you can adjust the duration of the whole clip. Now that you are familiar with the interface, we move on to dynamic drawing tools and how to apply them in this clip. We see how a team exploits free areas on the 5-on-4 power play and eventually capitalizes. Let's highlight the unmarked player who scores a goal. But before you start drawing set the desired frame rate. If you're pressed for time, you'll have decent results with just 0.4 seconds rate. If you're a perfectionist go for 0.04 seconds rate. We'll stick to 0.2 seconds rate. Choose the Highlight Player tool, position your cursor at the player's feet via left click. Set the parameters of the element. Currently, it's flat, let's make it 3D. Choose the appropriate size, not too big and not too small either. From a wide spectrum of colors choose the one you need. Basic blue will suit us just fine. Adjust transparency and optionally name the player by ticking off the show name box. Click on next frame, adjust the drawing by dragging it to the player's feet as if to follow his trajectory. Keep doing that as long as you need. We are through, let's preview the results. It seems that a tiny slip crept in, but don't worry, it is easy to rectify. Simply find the faulty frame on the lower panel with all the tracks and drag the drawing back to where it should be. Clicking the red bin in dynamic mode will delete the whole sequence of frames altogether. Easy, right, but there's more. You can take advantage of our brand new auto tracking feature to spotlight a player. Left click on the player you want to highlight, give the algorithm a couple of seconds to process the footage and player's pathway, choose the desired parameters and duration and preview the results in no time. Sometimes when a highlighted skater gets into a lot of traffic or a camera angle is not wide enough, the player may swap highlighting with another player. Simply find the defective frame and sort it out. When you're done editing the episode you can save it. You'll see a blue icon appear next to the episode name indicating that the drawing has been applied. As always, you can download and share it even outside the Instat Scout network. Analyze the game, create sequences of graphics, share your thoughts, and facilitate stronger communication within your team. Enjoy in stat.